Hello, Johnson Hesp here. In this video, I'm going to be building a vault with a piston door and shulker boxes as storage. It's going to be a bank vault kind of build. And I want to say thanks to Mumbo Jumbo for the design of the door. That was the inspiration for this build. This build started with a staircase going underground and an area for the vault piston door, which is 14 by 4 blocks. The piston door itself is 4 by 4 blocks. Firstly, we place four blocks with redstone on top of them, and eight redstone torches on the side. On top of the redstone torches are sticky pistons, eight of them. Then half slabs next to the pistons, a block on the floor in between them, and this is repeated on the other side, too. On top is another block with a redstone torch, and a block of obsidian on top of that. Next to that is two blocks with repeaters which are set to two ticks. Next, a redstone torch goes in the middle, a line of blocks on top of that with a line of redstone torches, three of them to be precise, then a redstone torch on top of those blocks, and finally a line of blocks on top of the torches. And then all of that is repeated on the other side. Then some normal pistons and sticky pistons in between them with slime blocks, then repeat the design on the other side. The last part of the mechanics of the door itself is eight sticky pistons facing down above the door, some redstone dust with half slabs running up to the pistons, a repeater, and then blocks with one of them being one level down with redstone on top of it. Then repeat the same on the other side. If that's confusing, just have a look at what I do in the video.
So here you can see what I mean when I said one block, one level below them, in between those two pistons. And then on top of that block, which is one level below the others, is redstone. Okay, with all of that done, it was then time to power the door via a lever. So I ran some redstone to a lever with a repeater running into the door mechanism, and then placed the blocks that are actually the vault door, which are iron. There are two blocks which have to be immovable, in this case I used obsidian, and you'll see where I place them, um, otherwise those blocks will get pushed by the door. So placing these iron blocks, I place them in a kind of ring shape against the pistons. I do the same thing on the inside of the door, and then there's an inner smaller ring in the middle just to fill it in. I actually ran out of obsidian in that last clip, but in this one you can see where I've placed those four blocks. And I've also decorated this room with iron blocks for the walls, polished andesite and sea lanterns for the ceiling, and stone half slabs for the floor. I put together a small bank or vault-like building to sit on top of the vault entrance, just because I don't want it open. It's a relatively small and simple building. Here you can see the finished building that sits on top of the vault. I use stone bricks for the walls, and again stone half slabs and sea lanterns for the ceiling. The plan with this is to put white shulker boxes in it as a storage space. And you can actually see me collecting those shulker boxes in a previous video. I'll put a link to that video in this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. This was fun to build and I really like the way it came out. And I will catch you next time.